It has become a trend that when some men are not allowed to give out their daughter's hand in marriage, it becomes a problem. They took to social media to come and complain and cause the woman out. I hope they will be able to understand that if you don't have any responsibilities towards your children when they were much younger, then you can also forget about participating in their special day because I can't just understand the reason. It's very rampant these days, most often in broken or separated homes, when the man and woman have gone their separate ways, it is the woman that will take the children and take care of them. Some men, you don't see them, they don't even bring school fees. They are not even bothered about the welfare of the children. What they know is that they have children somewhere. Way. Then when it comes to their wedding, he want to be honored, he want to appear from nowhere and collect their bride price if they are females. But the question I'm asking, these people that keep promoting this uh, culture setting, tradition setting, can they tell the man to also take his responsibility because it would be very nice if a man can take his responsibility so that that day he will be honored. And in some cases, it is the woman that abandoned the children for the man to take care of. So it happens both ways. However, this is becoming rampant with men. Hi guys, you are watching M Chicky series. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. And I hope you watch this video till the end. So in today's video, I'll be talking about Ngozi Ezono and the husband. Ngozi Ezono, born Ngozi Dennis Ibelwe, is a veteran Nollywood actress, and she hails from Owunike in Anambra State. She has featured in so many Nollywood movies, and she has also won several awards. So recently, she gave out her daughter's hand in marriage. Both ceremonies, wedding and tradition happened in Asaba. And before you knew it, a man surfaced online claiming to be her husband by name Mr. Edwin Ezono. He went further to say that it is against Igbo tradition and customs for a woman to give out a fellow woman's hand in marriage, therefore making Ngozi Ezono's daughter's marriage to be null and void and it's not legitimate according to Igbo's tradition and customs. He also asked Ngozi to drop his surname, which is Ezon, because according to him, they have since been divorced, but actually this is the first time I'm hearing Ngozi's name, real name, Ngozi Dennis Ibelwe. I've been watching her movies for over 20 years, but I've never had this name, so I think the man is kidding. She can never change her name. That is her brand name, so let him get a life. And another thing he never said is whether he returned her bride prize or not. Because according to Igbo customs and tradition, if you don't return the bride prize of a woman, the woman is still your wife, even if you're no longer living with her, you've moved on with another woman. Yeah, the man has spoken. He has made reference to the culture, which everybody is interested in hearing. And lo and behold, everybody started attacking the woman, not knowing her side of the story, not knowing what really transpired. But we need to get this right. Most often we talk about culture, tradition, but nobody bothers about to understand what the man did. The situation, you blame the woman for everything. You don't know what the man has done. You don't know how he has treated his family. Most children, they don't joke with this. It's not in my place to say who is going to be invited for the wedding or not, but it's, it's left for the children to decide who they want to invite to their own wedding. Raising up a kid is not a day's job. Some people think... Some men think that it's very good to have children without them having responsibility towards their children. You see them having children in all the corners of the country they have in the north, in the west, in the south, yet there will be nowhere to be found. Then, when it comes to the important thing in their life, like marriage or graduation, they think out of blue that the children will connect with him. If you're not there for the children, forget about that your children will not involve you in decision concerning their life. It's as simple as that. I don't think it's right blaming Ngozi Ezon because the daughter is old enough. She's an adult. I'm sure this girl now is more than 18 years. She should be, let me say, 22. So somebody who is above the age of 18 has right to decide for herself who to invite for her wedding and who not to invite for her wedding. And I also believe that if the guy, the man has been there, the way he has been showcasing it, the way he has been portraying it out there, I don't think there is no way he wouldn't have been involved. Because most women, no matter the story that your mother has told you about your father, they still want to let that peace reign, most especially for that wedding day, so that people will not understand the family dynamics, people will not understand what really transpired between their mom and their dad. They want to cover up for that moment so that everybody will think all is rosy, all is well on the surface, so to speak, in quotes. So I can't see anybody that will want to spoil his or her wedding by not inviting the father, most especially when their father has been there for them 
through thick and thin. Even if their mother and their father are not living together, but the father has been asking after them, the father has been in one way or the other involved in their lives. There is no way they will not invite the man for the wedding, for the traditional marriage. There's no way the man will not be in the know or even seek for, their, for the man's consent before they go on with their wedding. It's a big thing in somebody's life. So, in all honesty, I think this man is not saying the truth. I think the man has not been there for the children. He thinks that the easiest thing he can do is to come to the internet and start quoting cultures and tradition, and people will buy that. Yes, some people can buy that. Because I've read a lot of submissions on this. Georgian Ngozi Ezono saying that she didn't do well. Yes, it's not as if I'm in support on somebody giving out the daughters and the marriage without consulting the dad or without the dad being involved. But first of all, people have to understand that there are some men who are very irresponsible. In as much as the man and the woman are not living together, they are separated or they are divorced, the man also has the right to see the children. He also has the right to get involved in the children's life, also pay school fees because that responsibility is not meant for women alone. Some men, the only thing they know how to say is to tell you that the woman has taken hold of the children. The woman does not want him to see his children. So because the woman does not want you to see your children, you run and leave your children for her. I don't even know how that works when there is a legal system that can help you do that. Then you go to court and also get a paper that will allow you to have access to your children. It's not only the woman that has the children. The man also has legal rights to the children. The child cannot be born by a woman alone. Neither the child can be born by a man alone. It takes two to tango. The child was born by both of them, by both man and woman. Biologically, it takes both man and woman to have a child. So going by that legally, the child belongs to both of them. But most often, you see some ignorant and irresponsible men. They don't really bother. They move on with their next wife or their next uh, spouse. They don't bother about the children from the previous marriage. And when it comes to a situation like this, that's when they will come out and start shouting from top of the roof because they believe that by the time they quote customs and traditions, people will support them and not support the woman. I mean, things are changing these days. People should learn to unlearn certain norms that we take to be normal because Igbo people say that Alo wa for obulo menana. You know what I mean? When bad things stay for a long time, it becomes tradition. Honestly, it's not fair for a woman to raise a child when it comes to the traditional marriage time, when it's time to collect bride price, a man will surface from nowhere and start claiming to be the father of the child. When the man does not have anything to do with the child, the man never invested in that child. Yes, I know traditionally it might be right for the man to do that, but morally it's very wrong. That is child abuse, if you don't know. How I wish that the custodians of this culture will also tell the men the truth, tell them to take responsibility, tell them to be in charge of their children, to take care of their children, even if they are no longer living with them, even if they've moved on with their life with another woman, the children are their responsibility because they brought these children into the world. And they have to realize that the world is changing and changing fast. Some of those children are not happy with the situation the father has put them into. Some of them suffer. They go through a lot to get to where they are today, to get to the to attain the level of success that they have today. Because what I realize is that when the children are successful, that's when the man will come out to start claiming. If the children have been useless, like if this lady had not married today, believe you me, the man will never come out to ask about them. Why didn't he ask about them when they were much younger? Why is it now that she's having her wedding? That this man is coming out to say that uh, he's the father. So that's what is surprising to me. And that's what I'm worried about. Because most people that want to collect bride price, most fathers who are not responsible enough to be father of their children will insist on collecting their bride price during their traditional marriage or during their wedding. Why not be a good father? Why not be a responsible father to your children? So at the end of the day, you have the honor. You have the well-deserved honor. I'm not saying that you are not their father because you did not raise them. But the truth is that as a responsible father, one has to contribute towards the training of the children. It's not only a woman that trains a child. If you have a child, you can also have the same responsibility towards raising him or her up. Don't use separation or divorce to be a reason for not being there for your children. Why are you not involved in your children's life? Probably because you are separated or you are divorced with your mom doesn't mean that you're not going to contribute financially. Even as you are contributing financially, once in a while you make out your time to come and see your children and connect emotionally with your children. Because most often people don't consider this. You think because your child is getting married, then the child must talk to you because you are the father. It doesn't work that way. You must have that connection for your child to trust you enough, to confide in you, to tell you some of the private things that is happening in her life or his life. Otherwise, you will be seen as a stranger. This same goes for women who also abandon their children. When they remarry, they leave their children wherever they live. 
them, maybe with their grandparents, they don't bother about the children, or maybe with their ex-husband, they don't take care, they don't go to see their children. It is also the same story because if you don't connect with your children emotionally, they're not going to trust you enough to confide in you. So before we talk about bride price, let's first of all think about the children. Let's think about the well-being of the children. Because your children never discuss with you to have them. You and your spouse, whoever you decided to procreate with, decided and gave back to them. So you have the obligation and responsibility to take care of them. Not minding the circumstances, whether you're separated, whether you're divorced, you owe it to your children to take care of them. And this is the reason why some of these custodians of culture, they have to review certain things. They need to also remind the man about his responsibilities on how to take care of his children. Because most often, because the culture is backing men up, some men don't even care. They don't bother. They, they have it at the back of their mind that, Oh, wherever the children are, they must come looking for me because during their wedding, I'll be the one that will give them out. And if I'm not there, the marriage will not hold, the bride price will not be paid. I must be there to make things happen. My dear, you don't need to be there to make things happen, okay? The culture might be backing you up, but that doesn't mean that it's the right thing to do. It is very irresponsible for a man not to take care of the family. The Bible even said it that a man that cannot take care of the family is worse than an infidel. So whether you're married to the woman or not, make sure you take care of your children because they never beg you to bring them to the world. So let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think men are entitled to have the bride price even if they don't take care of the children? Like the culture backs them up, the culture advises them to do. So I'm going to sign off here, stay healthy and safe. And if not, subscribe to the channel. Mm, if you like what we're doing here, why not hit the red subscribe button and join the family. And remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it. And I'm going to catch you in my next video. Bye.